What is up, guys? I'm back to episode 6. I was going to stop recording there, but save files have a habit of getting all messed up, uh, and I don't want to mess it up with uh, Bob here outside of his spacecraft, so I'm actually going to land him and call it good there. And call it, call it, okay, well, if I can get him back into the fucking, there we go. There you go. So Bob's back in the driver's seat. Let's pull him back. Actually, let's get him the first orbit ever in Kerbal Space. We will um, pull him around very quickly. Since we've seen an orbit before, let's just make him a worldwide hero. A hero amongst heroes. Like John Glenn. But here we go. So, uh, let's bring him back over Kerbal Space Center, and then we will start um, deorbiting maneuvers to get him home safe. And then I will call it end of the recording session because I don't want to come back later and have him floated away from his ship or dead or or worse. I don't know what could be worse. But here we go. Let's use the RCS here to bring ourselves... Let's aim straight down at the planet. Okay, so here we go. Slowing down. There we go. Uh, no. There you go. Stop there. Stop there. Stop there. Let's pull the periapsis in. Our periapsis has been... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, we want an ocean landing. Okay, so this is kind of cutting it a little close here on this... Uh, plus, plus we're going to pull short of that, so it's probably going to be on the land. So what I want to do is I'm going to face uh, normal. Let's face the normal direction. I'm going to get to facing normal. Normal. There we go. Oh my god. Am I out of RCS? I am. Why, that goes quick. For such a big tank, that goes quick. Okay, but seriously, so to aim this upwards, like I said last time, or on episode 4, you have to aim north. Not too much. So there, that's that's pretty good. It's not responding. But yeah, so I want to aim it up. We're gonna land in this this ocean here. There we go. it up like that so we have this big long there we go that should be good and then once we get closer to this area we'll fire our mini our mini stage so let's get rid of this there we go let's fast um let's just glide here i just want to pull very gently away from that stage and I want to fire slightly retrograde. Even though no, let's let's wait till arrow breaking starts to set in. Then we'll So here we go. Arrow breaking should start pretty soon. This uh, debris should as soon as we start slowing down, should zip away from us. I think it's below us. Is it below us? Where is it? Where is it? No, I hit it. I don't want to hit it. It's gone, ladies and gentlemen. Gone. But seriously, so okay. So I'm gonna start firing backwards while I know I'm over this ocean here. That way, even if arrow breaking does pull me short, I'm still over the ocean. I'll just wait till this little indicator here. There we go. And it'll it'll pull us closer to that, that land over there. Hopefully it's a uh, friendly country. Here we are into the sun. Bob losing his shit at four times speed. Ah, 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 ah. What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? There's the other land. Okay, so arrow breaking is going to pull us in short here. Very short. That's good. Our Valkyrie debris is going to keep going. Oh, oh, 
it disappeared. Disappeared. Okay. Well, as long as it's disappeared. So let's um, let's fire since we don't want to hit the water too hard. And we have an actual rocketry method for slowing down at our disposal. What was that puff? Okay, so let's see if I can... If I aim upwards... Let's actually aim slightly away. See if I can get myself closer to that land. But of course, if not, I mean, I've got plenty of ocean. Just trying to make it easier for the dudes in the boats. Dudes in the boats! It's kind of working. Is it kind of working? A little bit. A little bit working. But we're going to run out here in a second. Okay, so there we go. Let's free ourselves to that stage. Pull the chute. And there it goes. So that's good. That's good. Let's speed up so we don't have to wait too long. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's slow down to that, so the speed can get itself right, and there's this! Alright! Now Bob Kerman is stoked, because we're going less than 10 meters per second. Spin, spin, spinny spin, let's do a flip, let's do a flip! Oh come on, I can do this, I can do this. Shouldn't be possible. Oh, 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 almost had it, almost had it. Flip. Flip. Come on. Used to do it so well. What happened? Okay. Let's do it on the inside. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did anybody else see that, that flash? Oh, there, there, there. What was that? Wait, is it in this window? There. It's right here. You see that? What is it? What is it? Did I land yet? Did I land? Oh shit, shit, yeah, we landed. Okay. There's the ocean floor. And there's some dot thing. No, I had it. Wait, okay, so let's zoom out, or uh, let's go under this view. What the fuck? Can I see up? Can I see up? Oh shit, okay, wait, what, what, what could that have been then? It was out in that direction. It was like... Was it, was it Eve again? I think we saw Eve again! Ha! Huh. We keep seeing planets. Okay, well there's that. Uh, I think this is going to be a very short episode, so I don't see myself having time to do anything else. I have about five minutes left. Um, I could start building the new rocket. End the flight. Vehicle assembly building. Well, it's time to start. Uh, let's, let's get a preview of our new project here. Here we go. We're going to send an unmanned, unmanned guidance system here. 
So, let's see. Really quickly. Do 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 do. Yeah, so we're going to name our, this is going to be our lunar program, our lunar program. And it's going to be a name much more uh, appropriate than the United States one. Uh, they named it Apollo. Doesn't make sense, they're going to the moon. So ours is going to be the Artemis Project. This will be Artemis 1. And it's hopefully going to be more successful than Apollo 1. Um, Artemis 1 is designed to go and view the moon orbit and come back and land safe. So that'll be our that'll be our goal for next time. I don't uh, let's see if I can get it started and then we'll we'll finish it next time. Oh no I want uh, this one. I do want an escape tower because they're cool. Oh I need um, this there we go. Escape tower there's that. That looks fucking sick. Okay, and then we'll get a decoupler and a small stage to bring ourselves home with. Oh no, you know, let's, let's make it a... We're going to the moon for God's sake. Let's get... Um, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, a small... this one. There we go. We want a decoupler. Okay, and then we want um, a big stage like we've had, except we want a transmitter injection stage. So what I'm going to do is put that there. Our transmitter injection stage is going to be a big tank. Is it this one? Yeah, big tank. And a yeah, it's got a really high specific impulse, but I want something higher. Eleven hundred. I think that's, that's plenty. Should I put a nerve on there? I feel like it's a bit much. It's a little bit overkill to go to the moon. Let's take or uh, go to the mun. Mini booster. I want something I can control. That's huge. Holy fuck, that's big. Okay, uh, what's this? Solid motor? A lot of stuff I don't understand. No, let's let's put a nerve on there. Uh, we'll just... <laughs> who cares? It's it's nuclear technology. Now we're going to irradiate everywhere we go. So that's good for that. And now we need a decoupler. Can I get a hollow decoupler? This? That's too small. How about that? Too small again. Adapter? No, no, no. Decoupler. Too small. Let's... Perfect. There we go. And then we've got... Let's do a baseboard and we'll call it good for the day. Where's the baseboard? Let's... Oh, I don't have a cover. That's, That's pointless. So let's add uh, the rest of our tanks. Nope. Yep. And I want a big rocket here. Big engine. To leave. And I'm going to do the asparagus sock next time. I'll show you what that is. Very efficient way to use fuel. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching episode 6. We got Bob back safely, the hero of space so far, until somebody stops him and does it goes a step further. And that'll be the entire, the, the main point of this whole series is just farther and farther and farther until we can go no farther. Then we will farther the farther to farther. Later, guys. Thanks for watching.